Good morning. Happy Saturday. Tis the weekend. Welcome back. I am ready to get a start on the day. I put on a fresh tan last night, so nothing can stop me today. Birth control. Let's do our gratefuls. Excuse my shirt. If you know, you know. Okay, September 9th already. Here we are. I'm grateful for the cats. They're just so damn cute lately. I'm grateful for PR packages. Specifically like skincare. I get so much skincare. I literally don't have to buy anything. It's amazing. Especially moisturizer. Like I go through moisturizer so fast. So the restock is amazing. And then I'm also grateful for new authors. I love my Colleen Hoover, but I'm very excited to read others. And I'm actually really into this book that I'm reading right now, The Perfect Marriage. I read a little bit this morning in bed and it's getting spicy and I don't know who did the crime. Who's it gonna be? We shall find out. Yeah. Okay, run down. We've got a pretty chill Saturday. I think right now I'm gonna go to Zumba or Zane and I might go play tennis for a little bit. We haven't decided. He does have a match today though, so I don't know if he's gonna wanna play tennis twice. So we'll figure that out. I wanna do a little bit of organizing and cleaning around the house with you guys. And then later we have goat yoga. Never done that before, but I got it for my friend for Christmas and then we totally forgot about it. Like I got her a gift card and we just never set up. I was like, oh, when the weather gets nicer. And then we both totally forgot. Cats are fighting this morning. I already took my birth control. So I texted her and I was like, oh my God, we literally forgot to use the present I gave you. Like I was like, oh, I'll take you to go yoga and we'll go to dinner. So today's the day, we're finally gonna go. So I'm pretty sure basically you do yoga and then the goats like jump on your back and stuff. And I'm thrilled about that. So hopefully they let me film and document for you guys because that is so fun. <laughs> so that's my pretty chill Saturday. Tomorrow we have the US Open finals, which uh, I'm excited for it, don't get me wrong, but I wish it was like other players that I was more interested in. It's gonna be Djokovic and um, Medvedev. I'm like, what's his name? But there's two players, Alcaraz and Ben Shelton that I really like that I wanted to see and they both lost, unfortunately. So it's gonna be Djokovic and Medvedev, which are two of the top players in the world. So it's gonna be a great match. It's just like not someone that I was like super interested in like personality wise, but I think we'll be rooting for Medvedev. But yeah, so that's gonna be like an all day thing tomorrow. So I'm very excited for that. Anywho, I'm gonna ice roll for a little bit, figure out if I'm going to Zumba or if we're gonna go play tennis and get the day started. Happy Saturday. I just looked at the weather, you guys, and the humidity is 83%. So X and A playing tennis outside, I literally would die. So we're gonna go to Zumba. Ooh, also, let me show you this real quick because I just got it. So you guys know that like shorts romper that I like from Amazon? In the last vlog, I got it in chocolate brown and it was this material. The like athletic, stretchy, thick, high quality. It has the logo in it. And when I first ordered it, this is what I got. Hold on, let me hang this one up so you can really see the difference. I wanna turn the light on too. Just look at this difference. Yeah, you can see it on camera. No adjustable straps. Look at this one. Just look at the material of it. Like this is like thin, flimsy, super stretchy, like no structure to it at all. And I didn't know because it was my first time ordering it. And I'm like, this is fine. It's only $12. But then I got it in chocolate brown and it was like this, like nice quality material. So if you order this from my Amazon store, make sure you get the right one. This, I don't know what happened here. I'm going to keep it because I've worn it and washed it. <laughs> I did debate because I ordered it again just to see putting this in the packaging but I already wore it. I mean, I guess I still could return it because now I've realized that it's not correct, but I don't know, I don't think it's that deep. I, I, it's kind of nice to have both, I guess. So yeah, just wanted to share the difference because that is crazy. Totally different pieces of clothing. You can even see how this one hangs and this one has like structure. All right, I better get dressed for Zumba, but I'm glad we're not going to play tennis and I looked at the weather because if I went outside, my fresh tan would probably just melt off of my body. <laughs> I would be really sad. <laughs> All right, here's the outfit. It's not very flattering. I know this length of biker shorts is like not that cute, but when I wear the shorter ones, I have to pull them down every five seconds while I'm Zumbaing. So these are where it's at for practicality. My cut up t-shirt, I literally took my old t-shirts and cut them up into tank tops. I'm gonna ice roll in the car. I brought my clip to put my hair up with. And that's that, right guys? I'll see you all when I get back. All right, back from Zumba. It is so unbelievably humid outside. We're probably gonna die later at goat yoga. <laughs> But hopefully like later in the day, it starts to cool off a little bit. Anywho, making a little breakfast bowl. Zane meal prepped some ground turkey yesterday. So I'm gonna do this with some eggs, arugula, some avocado. It's gonna be good. A little bit of butter. And this knife isn't very sharp, so I'm gonna be lazy and just slice a few tomatoes. A little bit of turkey that goes on top of the arugula. That was kind of a lot of turkey, but it's fine. A little butter. 
egg, salt and pep, avocado, and the runny egg that just broke. It's fine. Everything is fine. A little Cholula. Breakfast salad. Mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna put a little bit of this cilantro lime sauce too. I've been having Alyssa throw it together bowl in quite a long time. Pretty good. All right, it is gonna rain in a little bit, so I wanna put all my cushions away. I don't want them to get all wet and nasty. I also want to put our cooler away because we don't really need this unless we're having a gathering. Got all the cushions, but I got skeeved out by the bugs. <laughs> so Zane's gonna put them in there for me. All right, all nice and refreshed. I wanted to put on a little makeup. And honestly, I wasn't even gonna shower after Zumba because I'm like, I'm gonna smell like farm animal at this goat yoga. It's so humid out. I'm gonna be so sweaty and so gross. But I felt disgusting. I felt so sticky from the weather. So I did a quick shower and I'm glad I did. I feel so nice and refreshed. Put on a little makeup. I just did my hair sleeked back. Not like with gel though because I I just kind of washed it the other day. So I don't want to like make it all gross. But it is so humid. I, I wouldn't even dare try to leave my hair down. Is there a life hack for getting your bracelet on? Because I need it. Like I give up. I give up. I can never do it. And Zane is not here to help me. He went to play a tennis tournament. So I have to put on the ones that... I can do myself. That's good enough. I just like to have something on my wrist. It is three o'clock. We're leaving in about an hour and I've just been moving really slow. I gotta be honest with you guys. I don't know. I'm very anxious today. I think I just have like things on my calendar that I need to do. Like I need to plan my sister's bachelor party. I think that's a big thing that's on my brain that I'm just honestly kind of dreading. I love my sister, but I suck at doing stuff like that. I even hate doing it for my own trips. So I think I have to do that. I think that's something that's really weighing on my shoulders. We also have to make the save the dates for the wedding. Like, I just have random things like that that I need to do. But, like, the thought of even doing it gives me anxiety. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. It's probably just birth control hormones. But your girl be struggling today. But I feel better now that I'm fresh. I got on my little yoga outfit. Let me show you. I put on a little makeup. My hair is done. I feel cute, you know. I'm just wearing these Yvette leggings and then this um, Tommy John. Yeah, Tommy John little sports bra thing. I'm gonna bring just a crew neck after go yoga We're going out to Texas Roadhouse for dinner. I haven't been there in a hot minute So I'm excited. I think I'm gonna treat myself to a ribeye You guys know that I think that Zane's homemade steaks are the best which I hear you guys saying that you want a recipe We will do that next time Zane makes them at home, but um, I've heard a lot of hype about Texas Roadhouse So I think I'm gonna give their Right by a go. Even Zane was like, oh, you should try it. Try it. So I was like, okay. I mean, I could literally just eat their bread and butter. Let's be honest. That is my jam. You guys know I am a cinnamon hoe and the warm buns. Wow, so good. I'm gonna put on my necklace. Simple, I like it. One thing at a time. First things first, let's pack a little bag for tonight. I'm gonna use my new Adidas backpack. I've yet to use her. So let's take off this tag. Okay. Deodorant, scent bird perfume. I'm gonna wear this for yoga because it's gonna be hot and outside, but I know in the restaurant I'm gonna be freezing. There's nothing like a good classic oversized crew neck. I think that's it, honestly. <laughs> I guess I didn't need this big backpack, but it makes for easy carrying into the car. Cute, and I added a clip to my little mini non-existent bun to like add like a little accessory in the back of my head. The way I just watched that clip back and it looks actually awful because you there's no hair in it i need to fix this okay i'm gonna do it in a ponytail and then i'm gonna just clip it like this but now it's all hanging out clearly i don't know what i'm doing let's be honest i should watch like a tutorial on this or something is that better help Okay, I washed it back and it's not perfect, but that's as best as it's gonna get right now. Also, I am gonna bring the two yoga mats that we have. I don't know if they provide them there, but even if they do, to be honest, I kind of want my own. And my friend said she didn't have one either, so I'm like, don't worry, I will just bring the two that I have. One. And then I have this one from Amazon. She's thick but it'll do. Okay. Next step, we're gonna fill our water. <laughs> Stay hydrated. Are you drinking your water? Take a sip right now. 
right now. Good job. <laughs> now we're gonna start a segment called Tackling My Anxiety. And when I need to tackle my anxiety, I need to do things to keep my space organized, keep my head clean, and get things off of my to-do list. So we're gonna organize the travel bags, getting ready to go to Europe. And I'm going to Texas at the end of this month. So I'm going to Texas first, then Europe. I have so much travel coming up. And the fact that I have a tub, a tub, full of travel bags, full of random expired products that need to be organized. Here she is, and every time we go to travel, I dread going into this basket, and there better not be bugs, because it was downstairs in the basement in our workshop. So let's do it. We're turning on the light. There we go. I'm sick of not doing anything on my to-do list because I get overwhelmed just by looking at it and then I end up doing nothing. I'm sick of it. So we're ending it right here. One thing at a time, one day at a time. Let's start with the travel bags for right now. We just have an absurd amount of bags with random stuff in them. What even is all of this? No, you guys, like, there's so much. So much. Oh, a travel pillow. Look at this one. It's full of stuff. I didn't even know that was in there. Like, all these little bags, yeah, they're great and all, but they don't really fit much in them. You know what I mean? So many bags. What is in here? Random products that we didn't even know existed. <laughs> Another neck pillow that we never bring with us. This would be nice, though, probably for Europe. Like, there is just so much. Oh, a travel adapter. Do we need to bring that when we go to Europe, right? And another one. Look at that. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, well, this isn't going to help if I can't figure it out. Oh, Europe, right here. Got it. This is what the plugs are going to look like. Which, I literally have been to Amsterdam, and I don't remember what we did. Maybe Zane brought this, and I just don't recall. But these are good to have. And now, we have two of them. Perfect. Okay. The bin is empty. We're Marie Kondoing. Like, why is this in the travel bag bin? Why? So I think what I'm going to start with is I'm definitely going to keep the bigger, like, duffel bag type bags. A very easy decision. Zane uses these all the time. I prefer a roller just because it's easier to carry around. But Zane loves a duffel bag. So, and also, obviously, these are just good to have. So those are going to get folded up. And they're going to go at the bottom of the travel bin. Duffel bag one. I'm also making sure that they're empty. I want everything in here to be empty and then we can have like a bin with all our minis and all of our travel items so that we can just grab from the bin instead of being like what's in what bag. Terrible system that we have going on. Duffel number two and then this is the third duffel bag. <gasps> Pepper spray! I was wondering where that went. Good to have. Believe it or not, there's more bags in here. Oh, a clicky thing for the camera. Hmm. Duffel bag number three. That is done and dusted. Next, we have our cooler bag. Literally just got this. Tag is still on it. Back and go in here. Oh, my friend got me this bag. That should not be with the travel stuff, though. That should be with my bags in here, which need a home, to be honest. That's going to stay in here. This is my go-to bag for traveling with makeup because it's just pretty big. It fits all of my makeup in it. And, yeah, I just like it, so... That's going to get squished down. That's going in. That's a definite must keep. These are brand new packing cubes. I just ordered these from Amazon. So that is a definite must keep as well. Those are going in. We can also keep the travel pillows. Now here's where it gets a little messy, but we're going to make sense of it. So I have a ton of these little like reusable bag things. These are from Yvette, like the athleisure that I wear. Their stuff comes in these nice bags. So I feel really bad throwing them out. So I keep them and what I do is I bring an empty one with me on vacation and my dirty undies go in it because I wear like the same undies. Like I buy a pack of like all nude, all black. So I like to know which ones are clean and dirty, but they don't all need to be separate. I think that I can combine them all. So I'm gonna put them in one big one. We're getting somewhere, right? Now in this one, uh-oh, we have a salt tanner leak. There's a bunch of stuff in here. So let's see what we have going on. This is my travel mirror, which I love oh so much. It needs to be charged but that needs to stay. That's going in here. Now we have a thing of Q-tips, some dry shampoo. Oh, more dry shampoo. All right, these are all little travel things. So these are all gonna go in a bin and I'm gonna label it travel. So whenever we go travel, I can just go into that bin and make it so easy for myself. Oh my God, tell me there's jewelry in here. Oh no, it's Q-tips. Let me go get that bin because otherwise this is gonna become a mess. Hold on, bin secured. This is gonna be all of our travel items. I even brought out my label maker. So let's, oh, it's 333. 
guys things are looking up i feel much better now that i'm doing this because this has been on my to-do list i think i mentioned it like two vlogs ago now what is this app called is the question Printmaster, i think yeah amazon gifted me this little mini label maker and it is so good so literally you just download the app and then you type in what you want so we're gonna put travel items travel items travel actually i think i just like travel that's fine now let's just pick a cute font i like that one cool i'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger confirm that was like a test strip because it was off centered so let's do one more okay perfect so we're gonna put that right on the front of our bin and this oh Alyssa rose we got a little too crafty it's crooked you know what it is what it is uh this is where all of our stuff's gonna go okay okay oh, oh my god i just effed you guys up so i just broke my camera so now you guys are completely upside down like my screen that i can usually see myself i am upside down so i need to order a new one right now <laughs> i knew that was gonna happen one day i kept saying to myself i need an extra camera okay anyways let's continue on at least you're still recording i'm gonna put my products in here wow that was so disappointing i'm upset This is the bag of just so many random toiletries. Well, we've got Zane's hairspray that looks in great condition, so that's gonna stay. Low travel lotion, very helpful. Like, these are all clunky. You hear that? These are donezo. This is actually very helpful. It's got a little thing on it so we can clip it to our luggage. It's a hand sanitizer. Fresh empty jar, that is good to have. Found a mascara that will probably give me a sty, so we're gonna get rid of that. I've got two little travel CC cream and a foundation. Dry shampoo, more lotion. Travel Express tanner, which is unused, so that is a good find. A little mirror, travel mouthwash, face wash. Oh, this is like so helpful. When I go to travel now, I'm just gonna go to this bin. 10 out of 10. I actually think I'm gonna take the travel adapters out of here. I feel like that's not the spot for them. Those can go in the bin with the other stuff. And then in here is just gonna be straight products. We have the little mini makeup wipes. Might as well keep this little Ziploc of Q-tips. I already have it made, so I can just throw that in a bag when I'm ready to travel. Some hair scrunchies, a panty liner. I just had one in here. A razor. So we're doing good because I can't use this camera at all and I have to send it back, which I can't wait for a new one because I need to be vlogging. And this camera is like barely even sold anymore, but I can get one by Wednesday. So I'll have to vlog on like my G7X or something else until I get one. Let me go check if I have another one. I actually don't even know if I ended up getting two of these cameras. Oh, it's opposite. When I go up, oh God, why, why? Not right now. Oh. I have a million other things, hard drives, chargers. I have two G7Xs, so I'll have to just use one of these. It's just not a wide angle, and I'm so used to a wide angle lens, but until Wednesday, it's fine. I usually just Amazon it, but it's not in stock on Amazon. And Adorama has it, so I'm just gonna do Adorama. It's gonna be silver too, it's not even black. Uh, just make sure all this is right. This camera is so expensive, but I need two because when I send this one back, I need another one. Okay, purchase made. That was a $747 camera drop. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna send, I have like warranty on this one, I'm pretty sure from Amazon. So I'm gonna send this one back, get it fixed. And now we'll have two, not warranty. Like I paid for like the protection if I drop it and break it. Okay, well, this will be here on Wednesday and I'll have to get this one set up for a return because I'm upside down. Let me show you guys. This is what my camera looks like now. It got all bent up and it was already slightly broken to the point where I would look like this, but then I had to like position this top piece in a certain way so that I wasn't upside down, but now it just won't. So I usually can see myself and see what I'm filming and now I'm just upside down. And this is as far as it goes down this way as well. So when I'm filming this way, it's kind of hard to see. <laughs> Why? I swear, it's like my anxiety knew today. It's like it knew. All right, I'm on my G7X, so if the audio is totally different and if it's not good, please bear with me. Clearly, we just had a tragedy. Tragedy? A tragedy. My brain is not working. I have you on my tripod, and if I put my arm all the way out, oh, the autofocus on this camera sucks so bad. But if I put you all the way out, this is how it looks. 
usually I can film like this close to my face and you can see everything around me but this is just super close up and personal so that's how we're gonna be all right r.i.p my poor baby it won't even close oh so disappointing well now my friend's gonna be here in a few minutes to leave for goat yoga so I'm gonna make sense of this mess really quickly I swear, Mercury is in Gatorade. We have made it. It cooled off, thank goodness. I, well, it's a breeze. Thank yeah. God. Goat yoga that way, I see the sign. <laughs> Hello, gonna go hang out with the goats now. Thank you, bye. <laughs> so this is at like a education center. They have so much stuff. <gasps> Are you gonna come do yoga with us? Hello. I like that one, he's chocolate brown. His camera has the slowest zoom in the whole world. Oh, he's, like he's got an itch. Oh. oh, this one likes us. Hi! Little baby. We'll see you in a little bit. So pretty. I see the goats. More goats. Those are big ones. <laughs> they might try to eat our hair. <laughs> I, I clip mine away. <laughs> it's okay, I don't have much for them to eat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, is everyone ready for yoga? <laughs> oh my goodness. They're like, where's the food, girl? I don't have any for you right now. Oh my god, they're so little. I can't. <laughs> I laughed at you. I did. Hi, guys. Oh, you're going to be my friend, huh? You look like a Benji goat. No. <laughs> oh, it's happening. This is the guy. This is your man. <laughs> I love it. This is what I got. Oh, he's back. <laughs> Can you hand feed it, put it on your mat, you guys could do what you want with it. Okay. Like, I mean, uh, so this one wants to be friends. I don't want to be friends. I don't want to be friends. I don't want to be friends. I would love some. She did not. I would not. I would not. I would not. You push him away. I would not let him. What you get is what you get. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. No, don't. Hello? Guys, I picked out my own ribeye. I've never done that before. So excited. Best part of Texas Roadhouse right here. I've been dreaming about these. I've been watching TikToks all day. Oh my god, they're burning. No, they're burning. They're hot. <laughs> Good. All right, I got my ribeye, fries, and broccoli. Look at Valencia's drink. Wow. <laughs> all right, we are back from goat yoga and dinner. The goat yoga was a lot of fun. I could have just sat there and hung out with the goats. I'm not a big yoga person. I mean, it was a good stretch, but it was fun to just sit there and have them all like run around you. They only went on my back once. I wish they went more, but it was really cute. And then went to Texas Roadhouse as you saw. The steak was good, but Zane's is better. The problem is it tastes like a barbecue, like charcoal -y, whereas Zane like makes it in a pan with like butter and like it's like a nice sear on the end of it like on the outside of it and I feel like them it's just like these crosses and then in between it's not seared do you know what I mean like it was it was fine but their rolls and the butter are the star of the show let's be honest so hello bench please don't break my other camera you believe that mommy broke her camera and I've been saying for months oh I need to get another camera as a backup get another camera as a backup and here I am needing a backup well I have this one but I'm like literally up in your guys' face. <laughs> Anywho, I just finished up the travel stuff. Here's my travel bin. I've got all the mini products, and I think this is much more practical. And now, 
because I always steal the lotions from like hotels and stuff. Now whenever I bring them home, they can just go in there and that'll be our travel bin. And then I'll show you like the bin bin that I did. Here it is, I misprinted a label so I put it on here because why not? And now everything is much more organized. We have our duffel bags and every single travel bag is empty and we have our universal chargers. And now I feel like I'm going to have a much happier time packing for my upcoming trips. We are all cozied up in the growl fit. I feel so nice and bronze for my fresh tan. My hair is hot mess express. And it's time for bed. I'm feeling much better, by the way. I'm getting my life together. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. Happy Sunday. I'm just about to get ready for Zumba. We're ice rolling. It's gonna be another humid, hot, sticky day. I was gonna wash my hair and style it and get all cute for the US Open today, but then I'm like, I should probably just slick it back because it's gonna be a frizzy, humid mess. Would you look at that? It's a box in a box. Okay, so I believe it was my last vlog where I showed you guys the new Ugg slippers that I got. And they're just like a tad, tiny bit too tight. So I wanna stretch them out a little bit. So I went on Amazon and I ordered some shoe stretchers. <laughs> Never done this in my life. It came with a, um, what are these called? A shoe horn for when you're putting your shoes on. I can hang it right here. Here's what it looks like. This looks like a crazy contraption. I was expecting it to be like a lot smaller. So I guess basically you put it in your shoe. This part goes in the back and then you like stitch somehow, which I will figure out. And then it pulls on your shoe. I want it like longer, just a little bit. Oh, you twist this. Oh, this is easy. I just need like a little more room in the toe and a little bit back here. I just realized that this one to twist, it widens the front this way, which I don't need that much. So we're gonna undo a little bit of that. And then this one is right here. I don't wanna overdo it because I don't wanna like rip any of like the seams and stuff. So I'm just gonna leave it like this probably for like the rest of the day. And then we'll check it out later when we get home. Oh, that's nice. It came with a little bag to put your shoe stretches in. Use this to travel. Me, as I just cleaned out my travel bags, I'm like, I can use this to travel. It also comes with like other attachments. I think like if you want your like shoe um, taller here, there's like an attachment for that, which I don't need. This is very cool. I feel like this is a good device to have. <laughs> wow. That is so cool. Okay, there you go. It does all the work for you. <laughs> When I was younger, I remember my Ugg boots being too small on me and we would literally stuff them with newspaper. That's what my mom taught me to do. You just stuff the boot with newspaper until it like expands and then you let it sit. I guess this is just like a non-life hack way to do that. It's probably a lot more um, successful as well. <laughs> all right, we are all dressed and ready for Zumba. Baker shorts, a nice tank. Hot and steamy in that room. I'm gonna ice roll on the way there. I have to do a Walmart return for those cowgirl boots that I'm not keeping. Probably hit the car wash and then come back and get ready for the US Open. I'm so proud of me yesterday. I put the boots hanging on the door handle so I wouldn't forget them. my little camera died while I was out, so now I have a battery on the charger. I half charged this one. I washed my face in the shower, but I forgot I was wearing a little bit of mascara, so it's kind of all over me. But we're trying to make an earlier train than we thought for the US Open, so we're quickly making some lunch. Using my leftovers from Texas Roadhouse last night. Steak, we're gonna make steak sandwiches on sourdough. We've got one. That's your appetizer. Mine? Yeah. I can have it? Oh, that's your leftover. I was gonna split it with you. No, you have <gasps> it. Oh my God, thank you. Baby, your <laughs> oh no, the camera's gonna die again. Uh, Zane just shredded up some mozzarella and we're gonna make like little steak sandwiches. We'll probably do some um, sun-dried tomatoes, stuff like that. A Little bit of aioli, maybe some like mayo and lemon juice. We can't get that crazy though, cause we gotta go make the train, so manja. All right, we did mayo, lemon juice, some garlic powder for a sauce, steak, heating up the sourdough nice and toasty. My camera is dead, but we're gonna throw this all together. Heat this up, chop up some of these. Wow, look at this finished product, you guys. Got the moss, we put the hot steak on top of it so it melts it. Just heated it up in the pan. Arugula, sundry tomatoes, the mayo. Oh my yum. Killed it. it looks delish. 
I was gonna get kind of cute and wear my jumpsuit that I rented from Newly. I'm chewing on a mint, but it's pouring out. So here's my little fit. Abercrombie, Converse, Amazon tea, blue belt bag, sunglasses on the head. I just slicked my hair back and we gotta go, let's go. Did my makeup so fast. I wanted to do a get ready with you guys, but all my batteries were dead. Ready? Woo! Let's open finals, baby. Bring a little jacket too, since it's raining. All right, we gotta bounce. Lego. Mm -hmm. God, we made the train. <laughs> let's go. Let's go upstairs and just take pictures. Two in Perfect. Now. Let's go. We're not missing this train. Track one. Track one. <laughs> go, 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 go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god. I could, I could hold this here and it, we would have seen everything with my other camera. We made the train by like a hair and luckily we were able to pay for the parking on our phone. That's safe. Shout out technology. Shout out technology. We would have never made it on the train. We're having coffee. You know, just to hype us up. Just and I was like, insane. I they made us cocktails. Up. Don't tell anyone. Okay, well, we had to transfer trains and our train got here 30 seconds before the other train left, so we didn't make our connecting train. So now we're in Woodside, and we stopped at a little sushi place, waiting 30 minutes for the next train. We literally just ate those sandwiches, but we're about to get a little bite to kill some time. Why not? Zane's like, let's, why not? Let's go explore. We're gonna either just stand in the train station for 30 minutes or, yeah. like, you know, walk around a little bit. Yeah. We always see this restaurant. We do. We're waiting. Yes. We always so we're like, might as well get a little super. Yeah, something. let's share something. I don't see edamame. They do have a spicy honey salad. Yeah, you want to get two of those? I'm down. Look what we got giant honey salad. Looks great. Edamame? That was like the perfect little snack amount. I don't. So pretty funny and random, but we were just talking about it. Edamame is technically on like menus as an appetizer, but for some reason I use it as like a palate cleanser at the end of your meal. And now it's funny because Zane sees it that way too. It's like you end the meal Absolutely. with warm edamame. Absolutely. It just like soothes you. It's refreshing. Always end the meal with it. <laughs> but now it is already 222 and we need to make our train at 229. So we need to get the check and bounce. <laughs> we made it. Off we go. Here we go. I feel like I just surprised you with the ticket, so it's crazy. Oh, crazy. There's no way this camera isn't zoomed in. It's so close. I wonder if we're gonna see any celebrities today. There's been so many here. Let's see if we spot one. Now I have the camera that zooms in a lot more than my other one. That's true. So That'll be good. We'll be able to zoom in on people. Before we leave, we need to get a shot glass, and I need to get a crew neck. A what? Oh, a crew neck. A crew neck, yes. Let's see. Maybe we'll do that beforehand. Maybe we'll do that now. Yeah. It's gonna be packed after, actually. Yeah. First stop, we went to the American Express booth to get like the earpiece so we can hear the commentators while we're watching. Second stop, US Open store. Wait, oh my double god. Matches happen. Oh, doubles matches on right now. I'm gonna get myself a crew neck. The only thing is I had to hold it the whole time, but I can just put it on my lap. Or no, the, I'll put a bag. Okay, okay, okay. Just put it on the Barbara floor. So perfectly, we said bag. <laughs> on the bag. <laughs> so cool. This is what we've been watching on ESPN at home. There it is in person. <laughs> They're on the TV right now. Like, all right, and the crowd behind us is very ready for this finals. <laughs> that was a good impression of. Her. That was really good, right? Yeah, Ladies and gentlemen, like, yeah. We have found another U.S. Open shop. We've had no luck. So let's see, maybe we'll get something here. All right, we've made it to Arthur Ashe. The view is pretty good. Look how much I can zoom. Oh my God. Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> it's not gonna focus though. Wow. Jerry. Oh!
morning happy monday everyone yesterday was so much fun i feel like i talked you through most of it literally i did not pee once i sat there and watched the over three hour tennis match zane went and got like little snacks in between he got me a honey juice it was so delicious and medvedev that we were rooting for didn't win but it was such a good match djokovic is like number one in the world he's unreal and it was really sweet to see him celebrate with like his kids and his wife and it was cool because they did like a whole ceremony after and then getting to the train was a little brutal because everyone obviously was leaving at the same time and that's like my worst nightmare at the end of an event when everyone's just like so crowded because i'm short the air is so hot and thick from everyone being so close together and i want to like jump up and get like fresh air and i can't i get like claustrophobic <laughs> but nonetheless we made it on the train and we made it home such a fun day like loved it there were so many fun celebrities there as you guys saw justin timberlake my mom would have freaked out leonardo DiCaprio was there too they didn't show him on the big screen but he was there kylie jenner was there uh martha stewart so many people it was really so much fun. Um, but now it is Monday. We've had a fun weekend and it's time to kick our booties back in gear. So I'm in my workout clothes. We're gonna do the podcast today. I do owe you guys a shoe stretching update. I haven't taken them out yet. So they've been going for like 24 hours now because I did it yesterday morning it's about this time actually. So let's go ahead and remove them. I am so excited to see if it worked. I just have to figure out how to, here we go, okay one out and it actually hit me yesterday i wore my platform converse to the us open and for some reason these and my black pair are the same size but these are tighter on my right foot i don't know why i have to put on my black ones too and see if any of those are tight on me too but i'm gonna stretch this one i was like yesterday i was like oh i wish the shoe was a little bigger and then i was like i bought shoe stretchers and it needs to be like wider here which these do i can just widen the front of it these are funny looking but i can just widen the front of it so that my toes don't get squished. So I'm gonna do that. But let me not get ahead of myself. Let's see if this actually worked. Moment of truth. I do have socks on because I'm gonna wear these with socks. Not particularly these black socks, but I will be wearing them with like high socks, you know? So let's see. They feel like they fit better. <gasps> they do. Oh my God, so much better. So I feel like lengthwise, it's perfect now. I think I should have widened the toe just a tad bit more. Or maybe actually this way, because it feels like my big toe is just, thank you, Bench, like right here at the edge. So yeah, maybe just a little bit more, but they definitely feel so much better. And obviously this like lining in here will like smush down over time. They always do with Uggs. So I am so happy now. Now I can like start wearing these when the weather permits. <laughs> I love them. They're so cute. 10 out of 10. Okay. So happy. Now the question is, would this even fit in here? Like how would I? Oh, yeah, it does. I don't need any stretch this way. I just need the toe. So I'm going to go ahead and just widen that. Oh my God. I love having this thing. This is so nice. Okay. So even if I'm not widening them this way, I have to keep this little piece in. Otherwise, if I just keep widening this piece, it's just going to slip out. I just realized that. So now it's in there and now it'll keep it in place like bless you oh my god that was benji's sneeze did you guys hear that this one doesn't bother me like that one does but i feel like i should just do it because i want them to feel like super uneven you know so i'm gonna do this one just not as much as that one just a little bit okay cool wow i'm so happy <laughs> All right, well, I feel like this vlog was super eventful. Like, we did a lot, a lot was going on, but I feel like it's probably short. I always say that, and it's not. Anyways, I'm gonna take you guys through my Monday to add on to this vlog, and then I'll pick up a new one tomorrow. So let's have a Monday. It's already 9.04, podcast is at 9.30, so I don't have time to work out. I, like, had to do, like, some cleaning in the kitchen. It just was bothering me. Like, the sink was gross, and there was just, like, some clutter everywhere. So I did that. So we'll work out after the podcast. So in the meantime, in this, like, 25 minutes that we have, 26 minutes. I'm going to get some computer stuff done. I've got a pretty good list here. I have to send out some emails. I have to edit the vlog for tomorrow. I have to do the Ogmo graphics for the Instagram. I have to go on my Amazon and see if I have my camera warranty for the camera that I broke or like the stuff that I can send it back. Hopefully I still have that. Um, I want to edit the reel from this weekend. I made like a little mini vlog and then we have to work out. That is the plan for today. Fun, fun. Good morning, my girl. Good morning, monkeys. Are you having a nice Monday? 
Hi. Oh, here's Benj. <laughs> Hi. Having an issue in here this morning. Our scrub daddy thing smelled disgusting. It was so gross. I put it in the dishwasher. I've tried to clean it with like dish soap and it still stunk. So I threw it out, but I can't unsmell it. Like we've had it for a long time. So it's just after a while, obviously you have to throw out like a sponge, you know, but I can't unsmell it. And I can't figure out if it's like, like what is happening over here, but I scrubbed down the sink i changed out the towel under here it's not this thing this is like drying pretty well it's not this towel it's disgusting maybe i should like move this because it was sitting in here and like wipe down the counter behind here because i'm like grossed out i i have the worst or i guess you could describe it as the best but like the best nose like i am so sensitive to smells I couldn't see before I got my LASIK. I have bad hearing. I can taste pretty well, let's be honest, but smell, I'm like, Zane calls it a super sniffer because I'm like, I smell something. What's happening? Something smells gross. And I'm very sensitive to scents. I don't like it. <laughs> okay. It could be the counter. I'm gonna do like a quick water wipe. And then I'm going in with the big guns. I'm gonna use a Lysol wipe, really get in there and disinfect. Oh, it smells so good. I love anything lemon scented, 10 out of 10. This thing is actually pretty gooky, so maybe this was not helping. I put on the air purifier, I lit a candle, I put on my wax melts. I'm literally wiping everything down that's over here, so there's no excuses. All right, I wiped down the whole kitchen with the Lysol. So hopefully it's better now. I feel like it smells better. This towel's a little wet, so I made sure I like laid it flat. Okay, well now it's already 9.19, so I've got like 11 minutes to get some stuff done on my computer. <laughs> if you care about this smell debacle, I think I've made a discovery. I think it was the sponge, but I also think that it's the dishwasher because it's been dirty for like, probably like a day. And I feel like when it just sits there, it just rots like the food. And it's not full. I don't like to waste a dishwasher pod or water and like run it when it's not full. So I think I'm just gonna wait until we use a few more plates today and then we will run it, but that makes a lot of sense. The dishes are just like getting gross in there, you know, and it's like seeping out. That's why it's like, I keep getting whiffs of it. Hey, but now the counters in the sink are really clean, so <laughs> that's a plus. Check on the podcast, check on a little bit of computer work. I'm gonna pause to get my workout in because I have a dentist appointment in like an hour and a half. So I wanna get that done, eat some lunch before I go. I'm also gonna finally bring down all this travel stuff. dental cleaning all squeaky clean they said I looked great only thing is last time I went they did say I need two fillings like a preventative filling because food is getting stuck back there so that I don't get any cavities or anything and then they said they were gonna check with my insurance and call me and then they never did so I never called them so now they're like okay here it is and um, I have like my own dental insurance because my parents I wasn't able to go under my dad's anymore so I had to get my own and so I got like a low tier and so my two fillings are like four hundred and seventy five dollars <laughs> because my insurance only covers like $120 of it. So I have to make that appointment and it's gonna hurt me to do so, but I'm gonna do it. Anyways, also my key fob for my car, the battery was dying. So I'm in my thing and we have one changing the battery on this. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> Can't wait to spend almost $500 on a teeth filling. I guess I don't have to, but then I'll be mad at myself if I do get a cavity or something happens and I could have prevented it it prevented it but other than that they said i'm taking great care of my teeth and everything looks phenomenal i'm doing good with flossing she just said to get maybe like a little bit deeper on a few of my teeth like get in the gums which freaks me out that's why i don't go so deep sorry this is so backlit 
and this freaking camera is so zoomed in. I did check my other camera and I did not buy protection on it and I got it so long ago. And if I remember correctly, I think I paid to get it fixed somewhere else or at Canon. I don't actually recall that much, but yeah, I don't have coverage on that one. So the one that I just bought, I'm gonna call them actually right now and add on protection because I like panic bought it and I didn't add any protection. It didn't ask me. So I just guess I didn't think of it, but I'm gonna call right now and add on like a three year protection on that one. And then see if my dad can fix the other one. If not, I'll have to pay for it to get fixed. And I also need an oil change in my car. So when it rains, it pours. I need a million things. I just need it all right now. I need a refresh. Anyway, we do appreciate it. Feel free to reach back to me. You have my contact info. If there's anything you need, I will allow you to buy more stuff because I'm a nice guy. <laughs> Sounds great. I will call if I need anything else. Thank you. And if you do decide that the uh, 70D isn't earning its keep, uh, yeah, by all means, reach out to me. And okay. I'll send you a shipping label. Okay. Awesome. Please, if you're going to use the camera, sure, hold on to it. It's inexpensive enough. Mm -hmm. If you're not using it, it's gathering uh, dust and stuff, right. then that's when you should you know, consider... Whatever you want to do with it, but do something. Unless it's sentimental, you know? Right. Grandpa gave it to you or something. Right, right, right. Vintage. There you go. Vintage. Classic. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate your help, and I'll reach out if I need anything else. It's my pleasure. Have a wonderful rest of your week. All right. You as well. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye now. <laughs> that was so sweet. I called Adorama to add coverage to my camera that I just got and they don't do like they he didn't do like drop protection he just did like um if anything breaks if like the autofocus sensor stuff that will be covered but it was like the sweetest it sounded like an older gentleman like he was just like oh yeah I love what I do when I get to laugh with people it makes the day go by better and he was being so sweet so it was great customer service and he got it real quick so okay at least we're covered for a year for this new camera that I'm getting not for drops and stuff so we're gonna be extra extra careful and also I asked because I still have my OG camera from when I first started YouTube this is what we used to film on back in the day now it's all like little point-and-shoot cameras everyone uses but this was my OG and I haven't touched it in so long but he said that it would only sell for probably like 140 bucks so I feel like I'd rather just keep it. It's like kind of like a sentimental item at this point, I feel like. Like he said on the phone, he's like, unless you're, it's collecting dust or if it's sentimental. And this kind of is, this is like what started my career. So I feel like even if I just put it on a shelf for $140, if I could have got a couple hundred dollars for it, I probably would have sold it. But I think now it has more sentimental value. Like this is what started it all. So I think I'm gonna keep her. And obviously it still takes pretty pictures. So if I really want to use it one day, I have it, you know, but what a great experience. He just made my day, honestly. And I hope that I made his better too, because I love when people are like that. Okay, so now we've got some things on the off of the list. I messaged Honda to see if they can give me a quote on an oil change. We're on the move. Okay, I'm gonna edit together a reel, do a voiceover, get that up, start editing tomorrow's vlog. It's already 4.26. Um, we're doing real easy dinner tonight, frozen general tiles chicken, uh, five minute rice in the microwave and some frozen broccoli. That's gonna be the dinner. So we're gonna make that in about like 45 minutes-ish. So get some stuff done in the meantime. Zane's wrapping up a music lesson. That is the plan for the rest of this Monday. We're doing good and I cannot wait to take a shower later. I think I'm gonna walk for a little bit of my walking pad. So I'm gonna wait to shower until after, but my hair, especially from putting the wax stick in it yesterday, she needs a wash. Just for funsies, I turned this camera on just to see. And I think I'm gonna switch this uh, SD card in here and get a clip for you guys and see what it looks like. Here we are, guys. OG camera, it's so cute. It actually, is. it just died in the middle of me talking to you guys, but it is kind of sentimental now that he said it. Once he said, oh, unless it's sentimental to you, and then I was like, it kind of actually is. So I'm gonna keep her. Okay, we've made some progress. I got my little reel up. I did the voiceover and I think it came out so cute. So if you're not following me on Instagram, go do that. And then I just got really good rough cut on tomorrow's vlog. It's only 41 minutes, so that makes it easier for me tomorrow to rewatch and do finishing touches. I use the marker tool on Final Cut Pro to put these little purple dots where I want to put like a noise transition or if I need to add music or if I need to put like the day of the week or if I want to put like 
text overlay. I do that while I'm editing just to keep my rough cuts really quick. And then at the end of my editing, I'll go in and insert the little mouse noises or the little TikTok, tick, tick noises, TikTok noises? Yeah, not to be confused with the app. I mean like, like this, a TikTok. <laughs> so I do all that at the end, but oh, rough cuts done, love that. And now I'm gonna go make a quick dinner. We love a frozen easy dinner. This is what happens when you send Zane to Lidl and said, get some broccoli. <laughs> two, two pound bags of frozen broccoli. He's like, it was such a good deal. <laughs> I'm not mad at it. It stays good for so long and we eat it a lot, but it's just funny. Oh, this stuff is the best. 10 out of 10 recommend. We throw it in the air fryer. And while it's in the air fryer, I'm gonna go take a shower because it takes 18 to 20 minutes on 400. Plenty of time to go take a quick shower and wash my hair. This air fryer needs to go in the dishwasher after this meal. And then, sauce goes in a bowl in some warm water while that cooks. excited for anything right now. I am gonna watch The Bear. It's been a minute and I want season two and I want to finish it and I'm just in the mood right now. I think there's no other peak happiness for me than when I've had a nice productive day, a workout, a productive work day, a nice fresh shower, fresh hair, and a beautiful dinner in bed with some good entertainment. I actually didn't even start season two yet so we're about to start it right now. <sighs> Music to my ears. Hold on, we just need to do a Mm. my god so good all right that is it for me i'm gonna end this vlog here thank you for hanging out with me this weekend and this monday i'm gonna start a new one tomorrow tomorrow is our one year of signing on this house and move-in day isn't that wild a whole year already so you already know zane and i will be celebrating tomorrow thank you for dealing with the camera mishap my new one should be here on wednesday hopefully i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all next time bye guys is there a life hack for getting your really what? Oh, I forgot I had mascara on. Oh. <laughs> Pax. What? Zane calls it a snoop. snoop. Oh, your mother's ass. Uh, oh my God, Alyssa Rose. Sorry, Bella. Look at it. Oh, there goes my phone. Sauce, sauce goes in. This freaking autofocus takes forever. I feel like it should have gone in deeper. That's what she said.